Hello friends, Tanya here for day two of the Trinity Stamps sneak peeks for the April release. We are going to play with some beautiful foiling. We're going to start with this foiled corners, foiling plates and dies. These are two different clusters of flowers and they have coordinating dies to cut them out and they fit perfectly on a curve or in a corner and they're so pretty. We also have these gorgeous foiled circle border stacks and the A2 foiled borders. There are 19 circles and 16 rectangles. That is a ton of foiling shapes. Now I've taped together two sizes of the rectangles here or the A2 ones. And I am lining this up on a scrap of hammer mill cardstock here. And I'm going to run this through the foiling plate and you're going to see how absolutely gorgeous this turns out. I am super excited about all of these shapes and I'm hoping that they will come out with an A7 sized just because I really love my 5x7 cards. I um, ran that through the uh, die cutting machine after the plate had heated up appropriately and here you're going to see several examples of foiled images in the rectangle shapes. Um, we've got two that are close together in size and two that are skipping one size. There's lots of ways you can do this. You can make all kinds of different sizes of frames and here are the circles. I've got um, wider apart and closer together different sizes and there's just so many. That also coordinates with the A2 sized modern embossed uh, dies and the circle modern embossed dies. And I've used those to cut out these pieces here and we're going to use these to make a card. We're going to start with the yellow and the white, so the rectangle version, and I'm going to take one of the stamp sets that's coming out in April. This is the Wow Mom stamp set. There are three stamps and two coordinating dies that come with this. It comes as a bundle so you'll get the stamps and the dies at the same time. You don't have to worry about purchasing those separately. I'm stamping the You're Amazing stamp all over this foiled rectangle. I just wanted that scripty background and I'm using, I believe that's scattered straw ink. And I wiped off the extra distress oxide ink off of the foiling. Next, we're gonna take scattered straw, lemonade, no, squeeze lemonade and um, honey, wild honey, that's the name. <laughs> and I'm uh, ink blending these on a piece of five and a half by eight and a half inch cardstock. This is probably hammer mill. I have, I, did buy an entire box of hammer mill cardstock because I love it for foiling so much and it works well for all kinds of things. Next we're going to take some other oldies but goodies. This is the A7 diamond eyelet background and the modern embossed A7 stack. I cut the eyelet border first and then die cut it with the modern embossed a7 stack and I did the same with the ink blended piece and we're going to layer these together. And since they're cut at the same size they will layer together beautifully. Now it's time to adhere these to a 5 by 7 card base. This is I think I used a four and a half by six and a half inch layer for the modern embossed um, die. And then we're going to center this. I know that's an A7, but we're using that on the, uh, excuse me, on A2. We're going to use it on the A7. Next, we have our beautifully foiled flowers. In, um, I think I used polished brass foil on these. And I'm coloring them with some yellow and peachy orange um, alcohol markers. And I'm not going to show you all of the coloring, but we will need four of these, two of each design to complete our card design. Um, and I'm just using some simple two tone shading here. And since there's such drastic color changes, 
they uh, actually have a lot of impact here. They're close, but not the same color family. Here we've got a couple of greens, and we're going to use those to color the leaves on all of these. I did try to do some two-tone blending on the larger leaves and just did the darker color on the smaller leaves. This actually came together quite quickly. I hope you're not hearing some voices in the background. My husband is on the phone with one of our kids. It happens to be his birthday when I'm re recording this. And yeah, sometimes we just can't get away from the noise. <laughs> we are die cutting all of these flowers quickly on, um, out of the, oh heavens, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I die cut those out. Here are some of the other gorgeous floral foiling plates that we have. The first one I showed you was the Sakura Blooms and the second one was the Foiling Florals. The Sakura Blooms I believe came out in January and the Floral, let's see, Foiling Florals I can't think came out last spring or the spring before. Now it's time to assemble this card. We're going to Add a little extra scrap cardstock behind each of these layers and center those on the card front. And then we're going to take our foiled corners and put them in the corners of this yellow matted frame. I think this looks absolutely stunning and it uh, expands the size of that inner rectangle so that it looks absolutely perfectly sized on the center of this card. Now, of course, we have to do some mom stuff. This is the wow, wow Mom set. I've stamped and heat embossed this with some gold embossing powder. I did cut out the mom portion a couple extra times so I could get some extra dimension behind this cardstock heat embossed uh, sentiment. Now that we have all of those layered together, we're going to adhere those right in the middle of that foiled uh, white mat. And then I'm going to take the coordinating sub sentiment that says you're amazing. I love this beautiful scripty font. Also heat embossed in gold. And I did die cut this and uh, add one extra layer behind that for its extra um, dimension. And now we're going to take that Sakura Bloom and we're going to adhere that to the inside of the card to complete our design. You could have used the, or I could have used the foiling florals, but here is another configuration for card number two. We're going to take the Art Deco Dance foiling plate, some um, satin pink foil, and a piece of Dahlia paper cardstock from Spellbinders. For colored cardstock and foiling, I love the Spellbinders cardstock. We're also going to take the four bar card and envelope builder, and we're gonna die cut one of the layers from that. I've already die cut these circle um, foils, and I took another die from the modern embossed circles and die cut the center. I wanted this to be a circular frame with the inside cut out so that this gorgeous foiled background would show through. Now it's time to apply this to a four bar card. These are three and a half by five inches. So you take a five by seven piece of cardstock and score it down the center to get your four bar sized card. So now that I have applied our little white frame here with the foiling. We're going to add our floral corners, only they're not going to be corners, they're going to be the top and bottom of this circle. It makes it more like an oval, and this is going to frame up our sentiment absolutely gorgeous. I really like how this turned out, and it would work with slightly bigger or smaller circles also. Now we're going to add the main sentiment. I flipped that sentiment over and we're going to make this say, wow, you're amazing. So this stamp set can be for more than just mom. It can be a really general um, thank you or encouragement card. We are of course layering this up a few times and this will kind of overlap the frame a little bit but um, it almost sits right inside of that inner circle. 
Now that that's centered inside, I want to make sure there's enough room for the your amazing part of this card. This is going to get some layers that are just in the middle because it is quite elevated. So this is some extra cardstock that I've die cut with the same die as the main sentiment. And I'm trimming off the parts that I don't need and don't want. So I'm going to add one layer here. And then I'm going to figure out what part needs to be filled in on the inside of that circle. And I'm trimming off the extra bits on these die cut pieces. And then I will adhere those so that it rides nicely across the front of the card. That makes a big difference. And when you're using cardstock hmm, card scraps to do this, it's a lot easier to add a little extra um, and more precise layering behind your uh, pieces because they're thinner and easier to add just a smidge and more. That is the last of the sentiment portion. And I can't remember if I stamped on the inside next. Yes, I did. I took the Simply Sentimental Thanks stamp set and I took two stamps from this. I took the word thanks in a crisp script in a crispy, not a crispy, a scripty font <laughs> and stamped that in some pink ink. And um, the sub sentiment for everything in uh, black. Next, we have a couple more embellishments. This is the crystal garden, and this is the clear version. There's a rose quartz also. I forgot about these completely. I was digging through my embellishment stash and found these beautiful flowers, and I just had to use them. I thought they were perfect with the rest of this card. Look at that. I love it. That is card number two. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you liked or didn't like about this video and which card was your favorite. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please take a moment to do that now. And if you're interested in any of the products that I use today, check that description box below. They will be listed and linked as always. Of course, I will have to add the sneak peek items when they become um, available. Until next time, here are a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. Bye-bye.